Man, in today's video, man, you're in for a good one. Man, I got a video down in the description where these dating shows are becoming a lot popular. And this is Sexy Red verse 50. 50 verse one of men who wanna shoot their shot at Sexy Red. Let's talk about it. to the Most High Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, I want you to watch this video in its entirety and then go check out the video link in the description. And that video was about an hour long. You don't even have to watch all of it. You can just watch, uh, fast forward through it and, and get a good understanding of what it's about. But, man, this video, I'm making this so Daughters of Zion don't watch the likeness of Sexy Red and crash out like she does. Listen to what I'm saying. I'm making this video so the Daughters of Zion do not follow the likeness of Sexy Red and crash out. Man, Sexy Red had a baby I want to say almost a year ago. Don't hold me to the time frame, but she's a, a a year from being, you know, post pregnant from having a baby, and here she is, fifty v one. And this goes to show you, a woman like Sexy Red or any kind of woman that moves in that kind of vein can always find fifty fools. 50 fools that are just gonna fulfill the lust of their flesh. But let me ask you this. What good man worth his weight in gold that could be counted as righteous is gonna want a woman like Sexy Red? Let me just ask you that. Because we see examples of righteous men in the book. We see examples of righteous women. What righteous man uh, in good standing with the Most High is gonna want a woman like Sexy Red? And I'm not saying that to be offensive, but I want you to think, you really need to ask yourself, man, who behind the industry is pushing these agendas to ensure a uh, complete dysfunction in our community? You need to look no further than Revelations chapter two, verse nine, Revelations chapter three, verse nine, because these are the people that say that they are the ones struggling and the book is written to them, but they are rich and they're the synagogue of Satan. When you look at these labels and people like this, I want you to do some research of who she is signed to and then look at uh, the label that she signed to. Who is that label signed to? And you're going to see the Revelation 2, 9 and 3, 9 community behind it. And they're behind a lot of the dysfunction and the foolishness that is promoted to go forth. Uh, that pretty much cripples our community, you know? But when you think about what does Sexy Red represent? You know, Sexy Red doesn't represent modesty. She doesn't represent meekness. She doesn't represent uh, being respectful, being submissive, uh, having a meek and quiet spirit. When we look at what a man righteously is supposed to go for, you know, uh, you gotta think, Sexy Red is so impressionable that there's young men and women out there that think what she's doing is okay. And that's why in my house, man, you gotta turn that crap off. I don't wanna hear no Sexy Red. I don't wanna hear no little Boost. I don't wanna hear none of that because it's lawlessness. And I'm hoping that some you know, one daughter of Zion will come across this and say, you know what, man, he's on to something. This is a woman that had a baby about a year ago. Where is that dude at? And I'm telling you, the, the, the word says in Ecclesiastes, you know, the wicked woman is given to a given as a portion to a wicked man, and the godly woman is given to him that fears Yah. Now, 
you have to be able to discern wickedness. And the Bible talks about woe to them that call evil good and good evil. You know, they, 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 they mix bitter and sweet and you just pretty much pervert the word, promote, pervert the things that the most high y'all counted as good. Man, listen to some of the questions Sexy Red asked. And this is why uh, women like Sexy Red or that following her likeness crash out. This woman, it's, she's putting it out there and it's gonna stay out there that she asked 50 men and vetting these men, she said, okay, how many of y'all uh, will eat this, eat this cat, eat this box while I'm on my period? What kind of foolishness is that? What kind of foolishness is that? And you see these men, plum fools. Listen to these men intros. And this is why when you hear a woman that moves in the vein like Sexy Red talk about there's no good men, I want you to understand the kind of men that she will entertain, the kind of men she will lay down and have babies with. These are not men of good caliber. These are typically lawless men. Men, men with the mind of heathens. Men that just wanna uh, bust a couple nuts in sexy red and keep it moving. This is why this kind of stuff is problematic. And you gotta think, man, what, what, like, how can you be counted as wise as a man, righteously wise, I'm not talking to the worldly people, righteously wise, and you're sitting up wanting a woman like that. That woman, is an example of walking rebellion of the Most High Yah. That is an example of when you read Deuteronomy 28, the first part, first fourth of that, that, that chapter is about the blessings for disobedience. The three fourths is about the rebellion of Israel. And that's the kind of rebellion that we're seeing when we see not only Sexy Red or these other men that promote stuff like this. And I tell you, a, a woman, a woman that moves in the vein like Sexy Red can get 50 men, but you're not going to be able to have one good out of that 50. These men is all going to be lawless. And, and, and of that men, don't, don't think you can get somebody like Sexy Red and try to save her from her own destruction. No, she's going to take you down with her. But you got to think, man, a good man is going to tell you what you need to do in order to for him to marry you. And once he does that, if you want to actually marry him, you don't get to just keep doing it your own way and get an opportunity. See, there's plenty of men that will plant seed up in Sexy Red, but ain't none of, ain't none, ain't none of these damn foolish men gonna stand by Sexy Red. Just look at a lot of these other uh, industry chicks that move like that and look at how they get around. They don't get good men, why? Because of the wicked spirit in them. They only attract wicked men. Take somebody like Amber Rose. Look at the look at the Summer Walkers. You know, look at I tell you, like you got to think. Look at look at how women like uh, Sierra. Look at how she conducts herself with her husband, and it's like that that that's that is an eyesore to have your wife going out here acting like a harlot, dressing like a harlot supposed to be meek and modest and all the here's the bad part most people that love this worldly stuff cannot discern the people that say that they have a relationship with god they can't realize that these people don't serve the most high they serve another deity it's these people that don't read the book that think just because you hear the word god that these people is talking about the righteous most high yah no these people worship other deities Man, I'm hoping that the, you know, I see so many daughters of Zion to where they present themselves in a manner and it's subtle things that show you their rebellion, show you what's in their heart. And you like, nope. And men walk by and be like, you know, good men walk by that might give you an opportunity. And they walk by and say, you know what? I'm sticking with the word of Yah on this. I'm not taking, you gotta think, is a man supposed to lean on the word of Yah or to take sexy's red word for it, that she's good? Or are we supposed to look at Proverbs 5, Proverbs chapter 7, you know, Ecclesiastes chapter 25? Are we supposed to lean on the word? Are we supposed to uh, 
lean on sexy work, sexy red's word that she's good. And you you realize uh, good men don't get with women like that. They flat out don't. So I know she's got a little buzz, she's popping, but don't crash yourself out and be the next crash dummy following women in the likeness that move like that. It's a dead end road. It's not It's not worth it, I'm telling you. Closer to y'all ministries kicking that thing, gun barrel straight. Wow.